I think we've become more active middlemen and conduits for student activism and student issues so that we can kind of facilitate better what student con students' concerns are so they, that they get to the administration. Because in previous years, we've kind of been con seen and like viewed by the student body as like administrative lapdogs or like really honestly like just like administrators in the form of the forms of students and we need to we needed to actively and we need to continue to do this because this by no means has changed in any way but actively flip that image so that people understand that we are the student undergraduate council of students like this is really we're meant to be serving students and we're not meant to be enforcing administrative policies in any way so one of the major changes i've seen is that us be more actively involved in like brewing student issues and like trying to be proactive in in understanding students' concerns. We're shifting from generating recommendations to focusing on accountability, but there's still a lot of issues that um, we'll be working to kind of in a twofold way to approach the need to hold Brown accountable for the changes that have been put for, or the, for the recommendations for changes that have been put forward, uh, while also expanding conversations that are already happening to include more students. A lot of the issues that we've worked on, or spent the most time working on this year, will be continuing to focus on next year. But the way that we're approaching those issues um, will shift. So with sexual assault, a lot of the work that we were doing this year was working with students that were appointed to the Sexual Assault Task Force. In the next year, we'll be looking at how those changes are actually being implemented. The diverse, with faculty diversity, this year one of our main projects was getting student feedback in the diversity action plan. That plan is supposed to come out at the end of this semester, so next year we'll be working to, we'll be working to hold that plan accountable as it's being implemented. We have really cool things in the pipeline about making students transition to off-campus housing easier by you know building a platform to keep landlords more accountable um, we have really cool things coming up in looking at uh, putting undergraduate representatives on the committees that pick the food in our dining halls um, we also have a lot more complex problems to deal with that absolutely will not get solved next year um, like making sure UCS helps to gather feedback on the Sexual Assault Task Force um, and help implement those recommendations um, and also just working with other sort of student movements to help get have them gain more traction. I have spent a ton of time on sexual assault and for me it really isn't an, about it really really isn't about assault as much as it is the power dynamics that play into assault and how we can talk about the power and privilege that allow on a camp college campus that allows assault to occur and address like adjudication is incredibly important and our adjudication systems across the country are broken and we've done a lot on this campus especially with the sexual assault task force to address a lot of those adjudication systems um, and try to improve them in some way but what I really want us to be focusing on as a, as a campus is really addressing when se why are sexual assaults happening on campus. One of I think we're we're taught we're actively focusing on the adjudication portion of it and kind of making sure that when we do have an assault that we are carrying that through. But I think now we need to be also focusing on the prevention aspect of things. You know, obviously we see right now this semester that. A lot of students are really dissatisfied with the way our mental health policies are currently structured. We go to an institution that is very academically rigorous but has a weird kind of sort of sentiment on campus that's like we're really happy and we're really we're supposed to be really great and really innovative and engineer and and wonderful so it kind of suppresses students in some ways to thinking like if I'm struggling I can't really be st struggling that's not the norm at Brown. So why one of the most pressing things for me is how do we change campus culture?